Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my video. Today I want to show you my case for the SQ5 and how it looks inside. Have fun! Okay, here it is. This is the tone case for the SQ5. I'll walk you around and as you can see, uh, this is actually um, the fader side. So on this side, here are the faders. So the label is the wrong way around or maybe it's intentional. I don't know. So we got a handle on the front side. We got uh, uh, some 90 degrees twisted uh, handles on the uh, long sides. The head has as one a normal handle and the other one on that side. Standard butterflies uh, connections to close uh, the case. And, uh, and as I can tell you with my um, analog measuring device that we've got a total length of, let's turn it around. Focus. Oh. <laughs> serious 68 centimeters um is the, the the length so and we've got a and the other measurement is coming up it is 48 yeah so and the height we have here 27 centimeters yeah there it is okay bear in mind there are also these these uh, balls of steel one two three four five six seven eight eight balls of steel to make it specially ballsy so the weight of this thing is right now with the sq5 in it is about 24 kilograms um so okay let's take a look inside Ta-da! magic it's open and this is how it looks from the inside you've got the of course, the SQ5 with its dusk, uh, dusk with its dust cover, and as you can see on the back side, there is some space left to put in some of the more essential things. So what we've got here is the router. Um, it's the TP-Link was 1750, and we've got some cabling as you can see here, all in one package. So um, what? What I've got here is a uh, power split, six-way power split, some Cat5 cables, the power cable for the mixer and the power adapter for the Wi-Fi router. And there is the SQ5 under its dust cover. Um, it's a nice dust cover, but I don't think that you need to pay 50 euros for it or to charge 50 euros i should better say um there's another item in there as you can see and this is smaller but even more expensive so this is the um elusive allen and heath um bracket it costs at toman right around 79 80 euros and it is nice because the screws cannot fall out but all in all it's a piece of metal and um yeah so but I like it. Anyway, so, okay. Um, one more thing you can see right here in the bag. It's, it is very safely secured, so it cannot move. So if I'm pushing the mixer, the complete case is moving. So there is nothing to be feared of. Um, the same goes for the, for the lid. There is a lot of padding, so don't be afraid. Your mixer is safe and sound. Okay, um, if you've got a question, this is the um, Waves um, Waves card. Oh, let me see if I can focus that a little bit more. Oh, yeah, the Waves I.O. card. Um, it's about five ninety nine at Toman right now. And you could get the Dante card or uh, another um, extension card. But I like that. I mainly bought it because I wanted to record up to 48 channels at 48 kilohertz and if you use the usb stick usb stick the usb port here on the back or on the top you used to be able only to record at 96 kilohertz that is um corrected now in the firmware 1.5 where you can switch internally from 96 to 48 kilohertz uh, not for the processing but for the recording okay let me think i've forgotten something no this is the case this is, this is the mixer this is the dust cover this is the bracket, everything goes in there and sh you should be safe 
uh, for your next um, gig. Have fun, enjoy, ask your questions as always in the comment section and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you like it and uh, abonnieren. Abonnieren Sie den Kanal, meine Damen und Herren. Vielen Dank, have fun, bye bye, see you later.